I knew you wouldn't let me down, Shepard. I appreciate the trust. I think you've earned it. How are we looking? Now that the heavy air defenses are dealt with, Hammer can land. And not a moment too soon. What's left of the Resistance is holding a forward operating base. But the Reapers are countering already. Once we regroup, it's gonna be up to Hammer to take up the fight. It must have been brutal here. Cut off from the rest of the Alliance. It's been touch and go from day one. But once we figured out the Reapers were focusing on the major centers, it became easier to avoid direct contact. Until London. Yeah. We held back as long as we could, sending in recon teams. Lost a lot of good men planning this attack. But with soldiers like Major Coates, and knowing you'd bring us help, we held on. You did what you had to, and now we're in a position to actually pull this off. I'm sorry about Cortez. He was a damn good pilot. You two go on ahead. I'll catch up. How are you holding up? I don't know what I thought I'd feel coming back to Earth. I was ready to fight. Ready to die if I had to. But seeing everything like this... Let's do to the Reapers what they did to us. Let's hurt them. But stay focused. Don't go losing the fight before throwing your first punch. I know. I know. You're right. So, I guess this is it, no? One more push, one last fight. Not necessarily our last. It's been an honor serving with you, Shepard. You and I both know honor won't mean a damn thing if we don't win this. That's the truth. Whatever happens out there, you'll know what to do. You're a damn good Marine, Vega. That means a lot to me, ma'am. Good luck out there, Shepard. Yes, Commander. Is there someone you'd like to reach? I'm done. Yes, ma'am. How are the casualties? They haven't brought in many more wounded. That's something. How you holding up, Liara? This is it, isn't it? Yeah. This is it. I don't know what to say. I just know I'll have a clever line five minutes from now. Any last words of encouragement? Give them hell. Like they've never imagined. Let's do what needs to be done, Shepard. And don't forget those damn Solarians. I don't know how they got here. Cooperate with them. But remember their tactics. Study their formation. Never know when we might be paying them a visit someday. <laughs> In the meantime, let's show them our tactics. Victory at all costs! Shepard, we thought we'd drop by and help pull you humans from the fire. In return, I want to own the place you call Australia. <laughs> Just kidding. Now, Eve isn't around to tell me what to do anymore. You know, I've been mating ever since you left the Chunka. Gonna be a lot of her not kin running around soon. Well, as soon as one of the females gets pregnant. They're having trouble. I guess my power intimidates them. We're ready, Shepard. But I don't think the Reapers are ready for us. Shepard, I have a question. A big or small one? It is important. Its relevance would be diminished at any other time. Ask away. In this battle, 
The Reapers have no reason not to use their full capabilities to destroy us. Their forces are in entrenched positions. They have superior firepower and outnumber our forces. My question is, what makes you think we can reach the Conduit at all? Because I owe them for Thessia. And everywhere else. Our chances of victory are less than assured. Are you afraid? Our probability for success is greater than any other plan presented to date. That's not what I asked. Are you afraid? I do not understand the purpose of the question. There's no room for doubt anymore, Edie. You understand what we have to do or you don't. I am clear on what we must accomplish, Shepard. The Reapers have destroyed thousands of civilizations. But they have never destroyed ours. Nor will they. Good. Fight hard, but fight smart. We'll be depending on you. Understood. Shepard, there is something I want you to know. The elusive man ordered my creation years ago. Jeff was the one who allowed me to think for myself. But only now do I feel alive. That is your influence. Thanks, Edie. Commander? Admiral? Just going over the sit rep. How's it look? Less than 25% of Hammer has reported in. That's it? There's some stragglers still en route. But the bulk of Hammer that's still intact has arrived. We're as ready as we're likely to get. Every minute wasted here, the Reapers gather strength. Exactly my thoughts. Battalion leaders, report to HQ. We fought hard to get here, but now the toughest part of our mission begins. We've got to drive right through the heart of Reaper-controlled territory, break past their defenses, and get to that beam. What kind of defenses? The entire area is crawling with Reaper forces. But our biggest concern is the destroyer, protecting the beam itself. Can we bring in air support to deal with it? Negative. Some kind of interference. We'll have to take it out from the ground. Now, they've cut a swath of no-man's land through the city. We'll have to cross that first. There'll be some limited shelter on the other side, but expect heavy ground resistance. We need to get our tanks to here, if we get close enough. We've got a shot at taking that thing out. How much of a shot? They know we're coming. This will be a one-way trip for many of us, but there can be no retreat, no stepping back. We move forward at all costs, understood? Johnson, Coates, you two will coordinate the artillery units. Shepard, I'm sending you right up the gut where the resistance is heaviest. Support the tanks the best you can, but stay alive. I need you for the final push to the beam. I'll give you a minute with your squad. Pick your team well. This war has brought you here today. It will define each of you. You may be a brother to someone, a daughter, a son, but today, you're a soldier. The Reapers gave you a purpose, and you accepted the challenge. You all chose to be here. Each of you chose to stand and fight. One way or another, this war ends today. There will be no second chances, and no room for mistakes. Each of you needs to be willing to die to win the day. Anything less, and you're already dead. Expect no mercy. Show no mercy. You fight or you die.
Did it hit? What happened? The Reaper is still too close to the beam. We're down to two missiles. And we haven't even made a dent. You will need to allow the Reaper to move out of the beam's influence. And closer to us. Here on in, it's a straight shot to the beam. A straight shot with Reapers trying to crush us along the way. We just need to get a handful of troops through. We'll be lucky to get a handful. We knew this was going to be a gamble at best. Bad odds are better than no chance at all. The alternative is death. At least this gives us a chance. We're in sight of the target. All right, everyone. This is it.